Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to start using Zen cards for beginners in 2024. Of course, Zen cards is a user-friendly and also a powerful e-commerce platform that's perfect for creating an online store for whatever needs you have. So if you want to know how to start using it, follow the step-by-step -step guide. Make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser. Here, I'm using Brave. For you, you can use whatever you want. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section and just type Zen Cart and hit the enter button. Once you do so, as you can see, You'll find this first link, which is Zen Card Support. If you click on it, as you can see, you'll be taken to their home screen or main screen right away. You have here the option of downloading their zip file. It's what we want. We need to basically download and install the Zen Cards. You can click on here on download. You can click here, as you can see, to download some older versions if you want to. Here they have even some implementing uh, or implementation guide as an example all the guide that you want and even if you don't want to even get this click on download right here they'll take you to download that or to the page of download right away if you don't care about for example the information that you may want here so as an example if you click on the first link you'll find some popular features example so no limits to products or sales example uh, volumes mobile ready meets modern accessibility standards out of the box unlimited admin and staff a lot of information then you find your essentials example and even like the free support for zen cards so free support for zen cards available is available in our support form at zencard.com slash forum.php but or by clicking as you can see in the form link above and here of course you'll find the newsletter here to download it's basically donation uh, privacy policy and a link to zen cards example use this code to provide link to zen cards on your site example if you click on it as you can see you'll be able to get that so as we said you will have first of all to download it so make sure to click on it it downloads it basically and once it downloaded of course you'll need to go through some steps so as you can see read me first implementation guide pdf see the docs folder in your download so how to install it how to upgrade it and how to secure yours in car store of course you only find new features bugs and fixes uh, bug fixes if you want on the new versions change files help and support coming soon and archive if you care so let's go through the installation setup so first of all welcome to zen cards as you can see the then uh, dear zen card user zen card is made available for you to use additional changes modifications extra without charge and their version two of the gnu general public license while we do not change uh, for this elsewhere donations are greatly appreciated each time you install a new version to help cover the expenses of maintenance upgrades updates the free support forum and the continued development of this software for your online e-commerce store. Donation can be made through this page if you want, and we appreciate your support. So first of all, you'll need to go and see the Zen Card Brick Server requirements. Well, Zen Cards can run on Windows slash IIS servers. Linux slash Apache servers are recommended for best result. You can see from here. Of course, the requirements or Zen card requirements before trying to download it. So, example, Zen card operates on a standard LAMP uh, stack, of course, PHP, Apache, and MySQL. Zen card is designed to be run on a Linux server, but it can work on Windows, as they said here before. And after that, as you can see, you can see the details, version compatibility details in this section below, like in here. And basically, keep in mind that for security compliance, you should always use a PCI compliance version for each of these required uh, software components, including using a Zen card version that's compatible with those software components versions. As you can see, so here you'll be able to see the details of this like minimum server requirements. It's not like recommended or high, it's the minimum, the minimum that you should have. If you don't have that, you'll not be able to start using Zen cards. So details of whatever they say here first of all the php version as example so uh, zen cards example each version of this zen cards is designed as example for php 
8 uh, through uh, 8.3 as an example so this one it's required something from this to this example and etc so they give you all the versions that they have and the php requirements which php version should i, should I use consult's php version supports policy to understand whether your php version is still supported so if you click on it of course you'll be able to see it remember all versions are not pci compliant and are not deemed secure if they are out uh, of the maintenance period so example here you'll be able to see everything that you may want to know other than that php extension models used by sync cards so example those are the ones it's recommended to also enable the following php extensions which is those as example and we have here php memory recommendations so example the memory should be 128 or higher such as 20 uh, or sorry not 20 or 25 6 or 265 or even 512 if your server can handle it of course and post max size and upload max file size should be set to whatever max file size do uh, or you of course or your customers may upload usually 8m is sufficient for most sites if you are uh, but if you're accepting a huge upload it's both uh, the max size of accepted combined uh, uh, combined of course uploads so as, as you can see here nodes if some environment changing your php version can reset your memory limit size so make sure to go to the version page after updating php to verify the settings of memory limits so you can see the php memory limits here also so other than that php settings for optimum security and uh, as you can see make sure to enable that disable that and disable function this other than that you have my sql version so each version of zinc cards it will require some mm, sql version and yeah other than that open uh, yeah other information is that you may know apache also ng e i n INX, of course, uh, Windows servers, uh, IS, IIS are, are not supported. As you can see, Zencart is not regulated or supported on Windows servers or IIS. We don't recommend IIS and we don't provide any default configuration scripts for IIS. So keep that in mind. So Perl, Python, CGI, and other languages, Zencart does not use those things out also. So this is basically uh, towards the requirements. So here you'll have to follow the installation uh, requirements as example, like compliance, etc. As you can see, a lot of things that you need to follow. So if I go through all of that, as you can see, it will take like hours. So an example, I just trying to show you here the articles of installation, upgrades if you want to upgrade this example, and also the security recommendation for it. So they tell you here everything about it. And you should be good to go. Once you follow all of that, you have yourself as in cart uh, like uh, uh, e-commerce uh, platforms that you can use without any problems so this is going to be it for me today thank you for watching and goodbye